Just a short video to show you the type of places that I like to um, metal detect. This place here, there used to be a house here and it burnt down in about 2006. And um, I've been metal detecting here and I'll show you the stuff that I've pulled out of here in a minute. Uh, you've got to be prepared to get a lot of junk here uh, in places like this because they burnt down and it's been taken away. They grow, um, it's just a vacant lot now with weeds growing. So, um, yeah, I'll just give you a look at what I found in here and then uh, you'll get an idea of what sort of uh, things you're up against. A lot of junk. So, <clears throat> this is what was pulled out of that house fire yard. I could have spent a week there, really. Um, all the lead and everything and different bits and pieces, uh, foil and aluminum, I'll keep. The rest will go on the scrap heap. Uh, there's nothing, nothing really in there that's um, of great value to me. Uh, no real old coins or anything like that. Mainly all modern stuff. And this is what I do with the lead and aluminum that I find. Melt it down. Uh, that's just a um, bit of jewellery in there and a 66 two cent coin in the top a sled i'll do an aluminum one with all the aluminum that i find and this is the coins all modern all modern coins that i found nothing of real value but they're the places i like to um, go and metal detect like i said i could have spent a hell of a lot more time there but to keep your eye out for vacant properties that may have had houses and that on them you'll find a lot of stuff but it's also good practice and it's um you never know you might just find that valuable coin so anyway like subscribe and comment and donate at paypal chris can do if you wish and have a good day until next time